Come with me, Jake Turner, as I travel the back roads talking with corn and soybean experts about best practices in pest control, ag issues, and how growers can get more from every acre. All you need is a minute. I'm on my way to talk with Larry Steckel, Extension Weed Specialist at the University of Tennessee, about overlapping residuals, a great method for combating weeds like water hemp, pigweed, and mare's tail. Ask any grower what his biggest challenge is in the field, and he'll probably say resistant weeds. Larry, thanks so oh, much for joining us. Oh, sure, Jake. Good to get to visit with you. Let's get right to it. Why are resistant weeds becoming such a problem? Well, it really boils down to basically one thing, is that most farmers over time have gone to basically one tactic to try and manage these weeds, uh, and the weeds have adapted to it. And that basic tactic has been glyphosate, just using it. And now that it's not working so effectively on a number of key weeds, we've got to do something different. So what happens when these weeds are allowed to compete with crops like soybean and corn? How does that impact the yield? Well, in a lot of cases, especially when Palmer Amaranth really got away from us a couple of years ago, it, it didn't harvest the field. <laughs> That's as bad as it gets. <laughs> it doesn't get any worse than that. We didn't put the combine in the field. So, uh, but in other instances, you know, where you got minor, less of a flush of weeds out there and you catch them a little early, even then uh, you can lose 20, 30 percent of your yield. Well, what about, say, letting these resistant weeds get up to four inches in height? How does that impact yield? Well, that's a huge problem because if Palmer Amaranth, three to four inches in height, you're not going to control with any herbicide. So <laughs> it's a huge issue, yeah. Why do some of these weeds emerge at different times? And, and what can growers do to combat these weeds? Well, if you look at the more problematic weeds we've run into, especially the glyphosate-resistant ones, that's one of the key features they have is a very long germination window. And a number of these weeds, be it Palmer amaranth or water hemp, can germ in March, clear into October. Uh, and to be successful, you've got to manage it during that whole time. What's a tactic that growers can use to do that? Well, there's a number of tactics, but one of the key ones we've been using in our state, and I think a lot of states now, in order to manage them, is to overlap residuals, uh, one after the other. Uh, with the idea is one's playing out, the other one picks up uh, the slack. Um, so we're going 30 days ahead of planting uh, with that residual, primarily targeting mayor's tail, and then right behind the planter we're putting another residual, um, and then another 20 days at post-emergence we're putting another residual. We hear multiple modes of action. What constitutes multiple modes of action? Sure, basically it comes down to how a herbicide kills a weed, the weed we're after, and the idea is to have a couple different herbicides that kill a weed a little bit differently. Uh, so you're not using the same, basically, herbicide uh, all the time. So that's why it's so important to use pre's like Anthem or for Soybeans Authority, and then follow it up once or even multiple times with strong posts like uh, Marvel, Cadet, or Solstice, correct? Sure, that's a good example, because you, 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 the herbicides you've talked about there, they all kill a lot of the quite problem weeds, particularly Palmer Amaranth, a little bit differently. So you, you're mixing it up, that's what you need. What would be the best practices you'd suggest for a grower to combat these weeds? Well, one of, there's a number of aspects you can do, use, and you need to use a lot of them, but the basic foundation is overlapping residual herbicides. So again, 30 days before planting, using one at, at burn down time, then another one right behind the planter, and then another one about 20 days post planting. Larry, thank you so much. Oh, sure, Jake. Yeah, yeah, thanks. As Larry pointed out, today's resistant weed challenge means changing the way we've been doing things adding multiple modes of activity by overlapping residual herbicides, we can control troublesome weeds that threaten yield. So until next time, be safe out there, and I'll see you down the road when you have a minute.